Chris Lee and Blake Lovell of Southeastern 14 presented by Stakes here to talk about Ole Miss's matchup with Central Arkansas this Saturday. Game time is going to be, what is it, 7.30 Eastern, excuse me, 7 Eastern in Oxford. Spread on this, if you can find it, is about 32 and a half with an over-under of about 65 Blake, there's plenty of interesting SEC games this week. I don't know that this is at the top of the list, although I think it got a little more interesting this week. I think Coach Lane Kiffin is going to go with Luke Altmaier instead of Jackson Dart, who started Ole Miss's win last week at quarterback. I mean, that's the storyline coming into this one. I I think it's just, you know, we said coming into the season, we didn't know which way they would go. We thought it would be – Dart, he starts in week one, and now, um, you know, they're switching to Altmaier here. And, um, I mean, look, as we said, it, it's not like Ole Miss's offense was by any means perfect in week one. So you can understand if if that staff is wanting to see how things look um, with someone else under center. Uh, and I think that's the that's the storyline with this one. I, I think you'll get some entertainment value just from that, you know, alone, because I think this will probably be a high-scoring type game. But we say that, and – in the, with the expectation that Ole Miss is going to be able to, you know, fix some of those things on offense. And I think that's that's really what you're looking at here is to see, you know, what is this offense going to look like moving forward? Because we've said it many times now, right? They have a chance because of their schedule to get off to a great start, yet we still may not know exactly what to mm-hmm. expect from this team just because their schedule is what it is. So uh, I think that is, you know, this is going to be another step towards that. I, even if they come out and win this game by five touchdowns, I think you just want to see that offense be a lot more crisp, and and we'll see if they can do that here. Well, the defense was pretty crisp a week ago, and then this goes back to, what, a second half of the season trend with the Rebels a year ago where the defense has just gotten better. You know, what are they facing in, in Central Arkansas is the question. This is the team that lost 27-14 to Missouri State last week, ran for 2.8 yards, Per attempt, threw for 8.9, gave up 4.1, rushing and 9.6 through the air. I mean, Ole Miss can run the ball. It's got a good stable of backs led by a couple of transfers, and I figure that's kind of what Ole Miss is going to do is just – I don't know that you'll see much fancy. Although the the quarterback dynamic, Blake, I'm interested to see if you think that makes for more points because you got – Two guys competing against each other. I presume if it's a blowout, you'll see a couple of guys, and that's the one dynamic that's kind of hard to account for. I mean, I say if it's a blowout. It, it's hard for me to foresee a scenario where this game is interesting heading into the fourth quarter. Well, I was going to say, everything I said about the offense, keep in mind, that's that's all based around the the thing the offense starts with, and that's the quarterback. I mean, you don't, we don't have any issues with the running back situation. I think Zach Evans will, like you said, he can run for – however many he wants to run for perhaps in a game like this. And I think, you know, the offensive line will probably support that. So that's the thing is like, we're not, I'm not looking at Ole Miss's offense here as just, boy, they are in trouble and all this, but it is the quarterback, right? Like that's where everything starts. Yeah. And so uh, I think you want to, you know, you want to kind of see what that looks like. I, again, I don't know how much we learn from this game from that, but we do know that someone else is going to at least be under center to start this game. Um, and, and that's one of the bigger storylines defensively, you know, I just I think this will be one where, like we said, we felt like Ole Miss's defense was going to continue to move in the right direction this season. How much do we learn from that? I mean, they only gave up 10 points to Troy, um, which I think Troy, as we talked about, was more of a defensive. Yeah, that was more the strength of Troy rather than the offense. So um, I don't know exactly what that means, but there were a lot of things I think Ole Miss did well there. And, you know, the defense certainly helped them out in some of those situations. So. I think, you know, again, we're we're talking about this game because there there are a couple of different storylines that I think you look at from the old miss standpoint. Not trying to write off, you know, anything that Central Arkansas could do, but this is going to be a game, you know, that's about, I think, for Lane Kiffin just seeing, all right, we have to fix some of these areas because we know these first four games, you know, even at Georgia Tech now, maybe. Um, you know, I don't know how exactly it, our opinion has changed on that any um just based off of, you know, one game or something, but I, I just think this is, again, this is one where every every eye is going to be on the quarterback situation, how it unfolds from here. But um, I just I think this is one where probably Zach Evans is going to get a pretty heavy workload. And, um, you know, Central Arkansas, I think, coming off a loss to 
Missouri State. Uh, and yeah, I just I think this is one where you probably look at this and I think you'll see a lot of good things from the Ole Miss defense. I think you'll see a lot of good from Zach Evans in the running game and uh, everything else, you know, for Lane Kiffin. I think it's just a matter of, all right, let, let's fix some of these issues here and there and, and let's get ready for that that road game ahead of the Georgia Tech next week. There are a lot of big games this week in the SEC. To add a little extra excitement to that, we at Southeastern 14 went ahead and made some predictions in the Stakes app, including a couple on this game. I'll share those with you in just a minute. We want to hear if you guys agree or disagree with us. So go to Stakes. Go to playwithstakes.com. That's S-T-A-K-E-S forward slash 14. Sign up for Stakes. Place your prediction on our question. If you use the invite code Southeastern14 when you sign up, you'll get a double welcome bonus. Well, Blake, I have predicted Ole Miss to cover the 32 and a half under our handle, Southeastern14. I picked, of course, Ole Miss to win straight up so people can go to the app and bet on those. Try to think of a prop bet with players, and it's just. I don't know. If Ole Miss fans, if you've got one, go for it. Throw one in the app, and, and we'll try to bet on that too. I thought maybe Altmeyer versus Dart, who throws for more yards. But with Altmeyer getting the start, that one might be a little too easy. But anyway, um, look, <laughs> we're not going to spend a lot of time breaking this game down. I'll just say the predicted final in this one, if you go by the spread and the over-under, is basically – within a point or two, 49 to 17 Ole Miss. Um, I'm, I'm not sure that there's going to be that many points scored. I, just because Ole Miss's defense is is better, again, I don't, I don't know how much motivation outside the quarterback issue Ole Miss is going to have to keep putting the points on the board. Um, I think you'll see them running the ball with reserve, with reserve running backs. I do like Ole Miss to cover – the 32 and a half, but the, the over under, I just, I don't know. I don't, I, I feel like I'm leaning under, but I'm not, I wouldn't put anything on that either. Yeah. Your prop bets for the week. I'm going to go Zach Evans over under 100 yards rushing. I think I'll go over that. And I'm also going to go Zach Evans over under one and a half touchdowns. Hmm. So, there you go. Okay. There you go. Put those in there. Ole Miss fans, put them in stakes. There's your there's your picks for that. So, yeah. Well, um, we're looking for sponsors always for this show. If you're interested, email me Chris Lee at southeastern fourteen dot com. We have either previewed or will preview every single SEC game this week. Best way to get those hit subscribe. So you see everything at our channel. Thanks for watching. We'll have more stuff coming up Saturday on the games. We'll have some basketball stuff coming up soon. We'll see you again soon here at Southeastern 14.